someone with a bright idea might have a solution. First, here's Melissa Paul. Okay, I have a pool noodle, I have a cooler, and I have a hula hoop, and nowhere to put it. It's that time of year we're all looking for a place to put our stuff. And you may be thinking, hmm, I need a shed, but don't just get any shed. Get a tough shed, and here's why. It's quality from the top down, beginning with this. Take a look at this. This is a patented tough shed handle. This is actually ergonomically designed to fit your hand, and it opens from both the inside and out, which means you won't get locked in your tough shed, which also means you can do more with your tough shed than just put stuff in it. You can make it into an oasis like this. We're talking about maybe some poolside retreats. How about that mom getaway or that man cave that dad has been looking for? This is a chance for mom to go and escape from managing the home and man managing the kids and finally have that space that she's been looking for. So let a tough shed engineer come out and help you design that space that you've always been wanting. And right now, if you buy a premium or premium pro model, the cost of paint is included in your purchase. This is only good till July 31st, so call Tough Shed or go to toughshed.com today. If you've been turned down for a mortgage because of credit or tax return issues, Cash Call Mortgage now has credit and income solving mortgages with no closing costs. Just call 877-890-CASH and we'll work with you to find a solution to your mortgage issues. If you've worked too hard for too long and can't work anymore, you may be getting state disability benefits, but you could be missing out on social security disability or workers' compensation. I'm Rob Smolich. Since 1969, our law firm has helped people win workers' compensation and Social Security disability. We're a law firm for hard-working people. Call Smolich and Smolich toll-free 1-800-443-1345. On stage July 25th through 30th, Dolly Parton's Broadway musical 9 to 5, based on the hit movie. Facing the worst boss, three women become best friends and get sweet and hilarious revenge. Tickets at sacramentomusiccircus.com. Now at the Honda Summerbration sales event, you can get a great deal on a Honda Accord. Then go out and have all sorts of summer adventures. A summer of fun awaits at the Honda Summerbration sales event. Hurry in and get a great deal on a Honda Accord from KBB.com's Best Value Brand. Today at your local Honda dealer. It's Ellen's biggest baby shower. Yeah, I'm going to be doing my interviews in stirrups. With 400 expectant moms, Goldie Hawn, Amy Schumer, plus big giveaways. Thank you. No, 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 that's mine. Today at 4 on ABC 10. All right, it is now 924. Here is a bright idea. A Modesto inventor is using light bulbs to kill weeds in Lake Tahoe. What? Yes, the technology uses UV light to kill those pesky weeds like milfoil and water hyacinth. It still is in the testing phase, so we sent John Bartell to see if this really works. Water hyacinth, algae, milfoil. It's noxious weed that's been plaguing the San Joaquin Delta for years. It gets stuck up in boat motors and kills native plants. The blooms aren't as bad this year, but the state, the federal government, and the county has spent millions trying to get rid of this stuff. But there's an inventor out of Modesto who believes he has a bright idea. He's blasting this stuff with UV light. And he's testing it on the shores of Lake Tahoe. It's cleanup time at Lakeside Marina. And Joel Baker's tool of choice is a net. They like to build up along the wall. The mess is getting bigger. You know, if we didn't do anything about it, it would completely choke off the marina. Milfoil. It's one of the many invasive weeds that's turning the clear waters of Lake Tahoe murky and getting caught up in boat motors. But the more it builds up and the more it gets picked up in the motors, it can be spread around the lake as well. Getting rid of this weed is a daily chore for Joel. But this guy wants to replace Joel's net with a light bulb. It's built with a number of lights. We have it on 12 different circuits. Meet John Peluccio, owner of Inventive Resources and pioneer of the light bulb weed killer. So you're telling me these light bulbs are gonna kill the plants? Uh, they do. Huh. These are not just any lights, they're UVC lights. They're known to be able to kill one cell organisms. Plants are built up of thousands of one cell organisms. UVC light is not new technology. Water treatment plants have been using the light for decades to treat drinking water. John is just using it to kill weeds. Basically skinning it or doing a lethal sunburn. 
The process is simple. Drop the lights from a boat and drag it across the weeds. Just within a few minutes of treatment, we're able to treat the plants and cause them to drop. The proof is in the picture. This is a treated and non-treated area. It's pretty surprising, but John first learned about the power of UVC lights after he graduated from college. I was able to treat a cave wall that had a lot of algae growing on it. John played with the idea for a long time. Eventually, the Modesto inventor started testing those lights, and that's when nonprofit group Tahoe Fund caught wind of his work. Yeah, we, there are no herbicides in Lake Tahoe. They're not allowed. Tahoe Fund already has a few weed abatement projects in the work, but John's UVC light system intrigued them because it doesn't use chemicals to kill the plants. We're always looking for what's the next thing we can do, what's the next technique we can use. This private public venture helped John lock down the funding necessary to build this high watt weed killing boat. I hope the scientific community takes a look at this and says, you know, realizes that there are more options out there. Well, the light blasting boat still has a lot of testing to complete before it can move elsewhere, but John says he's already spoken to San Joaquin County officials to see if he can move his boat down to the Stockton area, and maybe someday light will be able to help manage these weeds. John Bartell, ABC 10 News. Wow, great idea, and we all know we've seen the pictures of the Stockton waterfront. Those who live in the area have seen Hyacinth really take over the beautiful landscape for many, many summers and years, and so hopefully something like that could really do the trick. Thanks, John. Well, the Stockton